Hello, and welcome back to this month's What's New in OCI. Let's start with our recent announcement of the general availability and support of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, RHEL, running on OCI. OCI is now a member of Red Hat's Certified Cloud and Service Provider Program and can be found in the Red Hat Enterprise Linux ecosystem catalog. This means you can now run the latest version of RHEL 7, 8, or 9 on OCI's most popular current generation of virtual machine shapes and your choice of Intel, AMD, or ARM processors while maintaining access to Red Hat's support system and knowledge base through your RHEL subscription. If you're already a user of RHEL, you can now take advantage of OCI's flexible infrastructure, distributed cloud capabilities, and competitive pricing models while running RHEL on OCI. Next up, the OCI File Storage Service now supports cloud-native asynchronous replication as a feature of our highly available Elastic file system. This fully managed feature allows you to replicate your source file systems to target file systems in different availability domains. These targets can exist across multiple availability domains within a region or across different regions in your tenancy. File storage replication gives you consistent file system replicas in another OCI first in the industry. You have the ability to replicate the source file system to multiple target regions simultaneously and the ability to select a replication interval that meets your business needs. This flexibility helps you meet your compliance and information lifecycle requirements in use cases such as geographically dispersed disaster recovery, data migration, and data mobility. That's all from me. Let's hear from Mark. Thanks, Kenna. I've got two updates for you this month. First up, SQL Dialog. SQL Dialog is the latest update to Oracle Digital Assistant and brings groundbreaking new capabilities. SQL Dialog can translate natural language input into SQL queries transmit those to a backend data source and display the responses, all without the need for the creation of custom utterances, intents, or components. In a nutshell, SQL Dialog provides a framework for the addition of a conversational layer on top of a database. This update to Oracle Digital Assistant delivers countless opportunities to save time and improve business decision-making. By allowing users to query with natural language, we continue to bridge the gap between business and data. Next up, are you or your team responsible for database security? If so, we have great news for you. We've updated Oracle DataSafe to allow you to stay one step ahead of your security reporting and audit tasks. DataSafe, which is the unified control center for your Oracle databases, now provides the capability for, to schedule and automate security reports. No more panic at the end of the month. Schedule your reports for delivery by email on whatever frequency you desire. Check out the comments section for more details on both of these product updates. That's all from me. Over to you, Shig. Thanks, Mark. The Oracle database service from Microsoft Azure provides an easy way to connect applications running on Azure with Oracle database services on OCI. If this kind of multi-cloud architecture is new to you, or you're looking for best practices, a couple of new blogs may help. Our first blog provides guidance on implementing a split application architecture using ODSA. ODSA's automation greatly simplifies setting up the connection between an application on Azure with an Oracle database service and ensures a secure private tunnel across the high-speed interconnect. We expect split application architectures will be a common scenario, and this guide can help you get started. Our second blog provides recommendations and guidelines for disaster recovery across different cloud regions to ensure that both the application stack and the Oracle database service continue to support your workload during a failure event. This blog can help you develop a DR strategy for an ODSA-based multi-cloud architecture. For more detail on each of these topics, click the links in the description below. Going forward, we'll provide more guidance and best practices on ODSA across various use cases, so stay tuned. And that's all we have for this month, but there's a lot more where this came from, so make sure to check out our What's New blog in the links below. And if you enjoy these monthly videos, please like, share, and subscribe.